And welcome back. So, uh, as we made our way through the early morning, we had a few clouds across the region, but they didn't last very long because by later on to the morning and into the afternoon, we had complete sunshine. And that combined with the uh, south or southeasterly wind did get temperatures near 60 for a high temperature for the day today. Uh, also near 60 at Broken Bow, Lexington, Imperial, Ogallala, and McCook. A little cooler at 57 for a high at Thedford and Valentine. Almost uniform temperatures across the region today. Average high this time of year around 64, so we're still below where we should be. It, it was a cool week uh, last week, but it still feels good to be near 60 degrees. So we do have really dry air over us right now. That dry air does cool down pretty quickly and a little bit of an inversion. So North Platte, one of the cool spots right now at 37. Uh, out toward Ogallala at 47, mid 40s at Hyannis and Imperial, and lower 40s out toward Broken Bow and up toward Valentine. Winds mainly from a southeasterly direction. They're breezier into our uh, western counties, so that's why it's a little warmer there. Wind speeds right now 5 to 15 miles per hour. We do have a weather alert for tomorrow, so basically from North Platte and points off to the south and west, this is a fire weather watch. Uh, it goes into effect at noon mountain time, 1 p.m. central time tomorrow, and lasts all the way into the early evening. The red flag warnings are out towards Scotts Bluff, but we're in that watch for the fire danger into our western counties. Now, Doppler radar showing that we have mainly clear skies right now. Uh, more clouds from Hyannis and points off to the north, but that's basically it for the moisture across the region. Uh, we do have two high pressure systems. When you see the dual high pressure, that means that warmer air is on the way, and we're finally getting back to this warmer weather pattern. Really haven't had it over the past couple of weeks. Another system did develop just off to our east, uh, rain snowmaker into the northeast, and we are tracking this uh, cold front that is off the coast right now. That's our next uh, weather maker. It'll spark off some rain showers tomorrow evening into Wednesday morning. Still looks pretty Pretty light. We'll put it at a 20 to 30 percent chance. Uh, and then after that, a little bit of a cool down as we go through the rest of Wednesday into the evening. But by Thursday and especially into Friday, very strong southerly wind, a good amount of sunshine Thursday through Friday afternoon. We got another system back here that will move through Friday as temperatures get up into the 80s, we will have a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. So let's recap on the skycast. Temperatures falling back through the 30s this evening for all of us. We do have mostly clear skies, then an increase in the clouds for the day tomorrow. High temperatures uh, averaging out in the mid 70s, cooler off to the east, warmer off to the west of North Platte, with showers developing from west to east across the region as we go through your uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then for Wednesday, uh, uh, by the afternoon, lots of sunshine highs back into the mid to upper 60s across the region. So finally, that jet stream does lift to the north. We do still have these systems riding along it. See the cold front area, so some rain will develop uh, Wednesday into Thursday, again off to the east. This is going to be a bigger system off to the east than it is for us with rain. Now, for us, we will get into this warm and even some hot air as we finish off the work week. Let's take a look at that extended forecast. So, for tomorrow, increasing clouds, chance of some showers into the evening. Wednesday, chance of showers in the morning, then decreasing clouds back to partly cloudy skies. But highs tomorrow at 74, then cooling back to the upper 60s for Wednesday, 73 on Thursday. There's your storm chance on Friday, a high at 87 degrees, and then back into the lower 60s for Saturday and Sunday with some remnant rain showers still around Saturday, 64 on Monday. Kent. And pushing 90 by the end of the week. Yeah, finally getting into some of that hot air. All right, thanks so much, Justin. The Team Jack Foundation is once again giving back to